Hey everyone, Dave here at Blue Bears Games, and today we're cracking packs. Yes, we're doing Throne of Eldraine again. Yes, I know I did this already. The reason why I'm doing it again, simple, I need more cards. Uh, specifically, new new cards, not just open and packs from other sets. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So, the last box we opened, I got a couple of cool things. I got the Foil dwar Seven Dwarves, I got the Brazen Borrower. Didn't get an Oko though, so we're gonna, that's what our, our main focus is. Let's hope to get a, you know, an Oko. A Foil won't be nice, but let's just go ahead and get an Oko. So, we're gonna be opening this, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up to you guys. <laughs> Whatever you guys want to open up next, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Last time I did this, I didn't get a response because I forgot to show you guys what I had. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you guys the list so that you know. So, let's start this off right. Do something good. Get something good. I really wish I had the pull tabs for these. I'm not really good at opening up these, uh, these packs. So, Alright, and the first thing we get to is a foil flax and intruder. Not bad. And a doom foretold. So yeah, I'm hoping for a couple of different... I'm hoping that I can document this a little bit so that I can find out what the... Uh, the uh, They're saying that there's a... Uh, like a, a method. Like you can map these packs out. I'm trying to see if there's any truth to that myself. I don't think that there is. I mean, I know that they're always mappable, but... Alright, and a Wicked Wolf for that one. I know that, that there is some map ability to them, but I mean, it can't be all that easy. But, let's see what we got. But last box, Brazen Borrower. Hopefully this, this box... Oko. Okay. Like I said, I can't open these packs well. I wish that I had the full tab ones. I think that those are just the pre-release packs, which is kind of cool. I'd like to get a couple of them just to see how they open and a worthy night not horrible I'll definitely use it in a night deck for future use when it comes to making the player decks for the beginners and like I said in the last video uh, it's a night theme <laughs> I don't mind the night theme especially when you make it different colors because when it makes it when you make them different colors at least I can make different styles of decks. Alright. And I do plan on doing that. I guess my biggest one is, you know, everybody can make, you know, black and white have had nights forever. Red nights, that's going to be a different one. I'm going to definitely try to do that if I can. <laughs> a boar token. I love it, a boar token. That is a... Foil, Mantle of the Tides, and a Gilded Goose. Uh, they're touting this as Birds of Paradise. I see why they would. It's similar. It's just, it's not as good as a Birds of Paradise. But I can see, for, for Standard, it works. Because they're probably never going to put Birds of Paradise in Standard again. I can guarantee you that. Um, so, it is the, uh, I guess it's a Faux. Kind of like I have the Faux Fetches. It's a faux birds of paradise. Boar tokens. Love it. Alright. And the same trend from the last box. If you didn't notice the foil stamping, the hollow foil is a little bit shifted. Not a lot on this one, but it's still shifted. I'm not 100% sure if that's because these boxes are like the Chinese... Came from the Chinese uh, factory or if this was... <clears throat> just me getting either lucky or unlucky depending on how you view it alright and love struck beast I didn't get the questing one I was kind of hoping to get that I'll see if I get it this box look at that full the hollow stamp though it's really like it's off it's a little shifted on this one but it's pretty you know pretty far off for the normal, you know, for the normal, like, I've actually never opened up a whole lot of, like, misprints or things that were mis un not centered. This is actually the most I've ever opened. 
a rat token. I will be making a rat deck for the next con. The Piper. I'm hoping to get the Piper. Yeah, see, look, another one. It's a little off-centered. It's not horribly off-center, but it's a little off-center. Yeah, it is what it is. Alright. I, like, yeah, I, as far as misprints go, I've never opened, I never opened anything, like, that it was crimped. I've never opened anything that was really, like, two cards in one. I've never opened any of that stuff. Um, so, see, that one's perfect. It's a good card, too. I actually want to make a deck off of that. Problem is, oh, that's a foil, by the way. I didn't even see that. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there it is. That's a foil. Interesting. That's a good card. And then there's the Midnight Cluck, the actual rare. So, well, that was a good pack, actually. I want to make a deck off that guy. Uh, or girl, as it will. I don't know what that is. And I got another one of these. It's a cool... Oh, wow, this pack is almost identical to a pack from the last box. Maybe there is something to this mapping or, I guess, the patterns. Um, yeah, that was interesting. The uncommons were exactly the same as one of the previous boxes packs. Magic Mirror. Alright, so that's our first Mythic. Not exactly the money card. I was kind of hoping for the green one. But. Bankers can't be choosers. Let's keep opening. See if we get anything. Alright. Like I said. I hoped, I was hoping for the pull tab ones. But I guess I didn't get them. Alright. Giant killer. This is like a one-sided. Oh, that's the other one. Alright, destroy a creature with power 4 or greater. Okay, that's not bad. I thought that was the one that kills all non-giants, which is kind of cool. It uh, brings me back to the days of, I believe it was, uh, oh, it was in the Rakidian Mash, plane, sh plane Shift era. era. Uh, there was a, a red giant that if you kicked it, it destroyed all other creatures. It's kind of similar. Apparently more controllable. A mouse. I wonder what what is the thing that makes a mouse token? I have to take a look. Another charming prince. Yeah, not a good card, or at least not a great card. Uh, and this is the catalyst. The inspiring veteran is the catalyst for me making a red white version of my knight deck because if you get a lord, you got to make the tribal. It's just. You know, it's just the rules. You gotta make tribal for it. You at least gotta start with tribal anyway. Uh, and that's a foil. Fortifying provisions. And a, another ruminous, harmonious archon. Alright, so I'm noticing it's not really a pattern, but I'm seeing some similarities. Not a lot of like variety uh, looks like these two boxes have pretty much the same thing so my hope is that if it is going to happen it's it's a brazen baron or a brazen borrower or possibly something close to it two to case two to flash okay it's not bad actually that'll go into a deck that i make for for the beginners another green cat now I do make various cat decks for people, and that one's going to... I'm hoping to get a couple more of them so that I can go ahead and put them in. Because it's a pretty good... Uh, it's good value. Four to cast. What is it? Five to cast. Four or five. With abilities. It's always nice. Alright, and a Fabled Passage. Oh, back to that. I, I, I actually mentioned it in the last... Oh, look in the foil. The hollow is a little off, too. Um, I mentioned in the last uh, unboxing, uh, I like to make fun of, like, fetches and, you know, how there are faux fetches out there. This is, I guess, a cross between a faux fetch and a fetch. It actually is a fetch. 
for all intents and purposes, it goes and gets basic land, and then it can come into play on tap. Um, it's not a specific type, so you can't go get a dual land or anything like that, but... Alright, and my full rare. I wish this was reversed. So, my full rare was Mirror Maid. Not horrible, but not great. And then the regular rare, which I wish was the foil rare, is Murderer's Rider. I play with him on, are on Arena. He is pure value and just, he's a beast. <coughs> so, he is a beast. He is a good card. They did a very good job with that. So, and the worst part is, is I always, I've said this before, Brazen Barrier, bar ba Borrower, still the Mythic, and yet that card is probably 10 times better with value. Sure, it's not tempo, but it's value. Alright, our rare for this one is Castle Ardenvale. I always liked being able to make tokens. I, I think I'll use this, uh, depending on the value. Uh, I will put that into one of the, the budget decks, depending on if it's, if it's budget friendly. So. Yeah, a couple different cards in here. So it's not as, as mapped as the other one. It's not as, as uh, predictable. Another Fires of Invention. I talked about this. This one has the foil hollow stamp on the bottom. still a little off as well. So, and then the alternate border. I do like the alternate borders. I think it's a little flashy and it's a little oldie time style. <laughs> I was hoping for a more modern styling, but this is fairy tales, so I guess it makes sense to be a little flashy. All right, and that, the robber of the rich. He's a pretty good card. Not gonna lie, I'm not unhappy with that as my mythic pool. Pretty good, good value there. He's really good for uh, for tempo, and I'm happy to have pulled that. All right, so what's that? Two, two mythics so far. One foil rare, and not the best foil rare I will mention. All right, foil knight. And a return of the wild speaker. Not really a fan of this card. If you were gonna do a card that was kinda like Overrun, but with one less green, why wouldn't you give it trample? <laughs> I don't understand why they didn't give it trample. It's like a worse version of Overrun. Sure you can get the draw part of it, but I mean give the damn creatures trample. I did see that green did get a boost in this set, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it was much needed, but they could have at least given that trample. Where's my questing guy? That's what I haven't gotten. A questing beast. Again, foil hologram on the bottom is a little off. It's weird. Again, I've never gotten a whole lot of misprints in my entire time opening packs. I've opened many packs in my day. Nothing like this. Alright, come on, Questing Beast. No. It's an interesting card nonetheless, though. Seven. I, I guess it was for the Seven Dwarves, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that's the other thing I hadn't talked about. Ooh, a black cat. Uh, the theme of this set. Fairy tales. I know that there are many, many people who have been either writing articles or making videos about all the different... I guess cards that have a theme to them that were from fairy tales, like the Flax Intruders from Goldilocks and the Three Bears, or what have you. I uh, hadn't really talked about that. I thought it was an interesting theme. Full animating fairy, and then a folio of fancies. I will put this into a. Uh, oh, speaking of. <laughs> I will put that card into a commander deck. The Flax and Intruder. This card offends me. Look at her. She's just standing over the bears like a psychopath. Come on now. 
I'm glad I got the alternate art one. I, I did like how they did that. But, again, like I said, the Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Dance of the Mantis. I didn't even see it first. A friend of mine told me, look at the picture. And I was like, I don't even know what they are. He goes, they're brooms. I said, okay. Or mops, whatever. <laughs> He's like, think about it. And I was like, I can't. I don't understand. Like, I, I myself don't really remember things very well. Um, he was like, just think about it. Think Disney. And I was like, think Disney. He's like, yeah, think Mickey Mouse with the wand. And I said, Fantasia? He said, yeah, it's Fantasia. I was like, really? I looked at it again. Yeah, it's Fantasia. So I, I give kudos to Wizards for this set just for the fact that it has flavor out the ass. Seriously, lots of flavor. But I could not for life and figure out what Dance of the Dance was. But yeah, it makes sense. It is... It is... <laughs> Fantasia, and I was, you know, I was a little impressed with the fact that they did come up with some neat stuff. And a giant killer with the the hologram stamp a little off. So, I saw a couple articles of how many, you know, different ones there are. Some of them I didn't even know existed. I had no idea what they were. I, I'm a little old, so while I could have watched other things, I didn't catch it. So, I do. I give them kudos, because the theme's pretty good. I, I like the theme. As far as usability, some of the cards are a little lackluster, but that's every set. Alright, so my foil for this pack was an island. Now, I am a blue player, so this is going nowhere but into my own decks, but... And again, look at the foil. The hologram. It's off a little bit. I mean, they're not terribly, terribly off. Who inspiring veterans, so I can make more of a night deck for red. Anyway... So, yeah, I uh, I was trying to figure out how many I could get, and I didn't get a lot. In comparison to how many are actually in this set, I didn't get a lot. Uh, I saw Emery was, you know, the lady in the lake. That was pretty immediate. You know, there it's just so many. I mean, they did a fantastic job. All right. Now, this card, I want to make a mention of this card. I'm not a fan of it. But it reminds me of a card from way back in the day. Uh, Force of Nature. It's pretty similar to Force of Nature. Uh, it has more upgrades than Force of Nature. But, I mean, it's it's essentially, it's a Timmy card. You know, a Timmy card is high power toughness for cheap Timmy card. Uh, that's pretty much what that is. It's a, it's a generic Timmy card. But it has some better abilities than the Force of Nature from back in the day or the... Lord of the Pits, or what have you. Alright. And a foil rare. So, second foil rare out of the box. Castle Embrick. I actually got two castles out of this. So, this pack was Castlelicious. Alright. So, two foil rares again. So, I don't know if that's the new norm. Uh, I've seen it happen now three times out of my last three boxes. I don't know if that's the new norm or not. I'm okay with it. The problem is that with the collector's edition packs, four rares aren't really going to be worth as much as they used to be. <laughs> They're just flowing like water. So, And another Dance of the Mans. I'm not sure. Did I get one of these in this, this box already? <laughs> Again, it's not a bad card. I saw the deck. It was a good deck. Alternate frame, Beanstalk Giant. I mean, again, it's not a bad thing that they did it. And I'm happy that they're making higher, I guess, cost of cards more available. But at the price, I just can't say it. Yes, can't say it. $20 for a pack to get what? <laughs> a full rare that is unplayable. Alright, and that is a foil Fireborn Knight. Really playing on that uh that night theme. <clears throat> so I saw this pool and I wanted to try to break this. It's not gonna be as easy as it looks. It's you know, a five four for two looks great on paper, but when you have a drawback on it, it's not so easy to get. But I saw that and I liked it. I thought it was an interesting idea, especially with blue being a mill color. A lot of Bond Adventures. Alright. My 
foil on this pack, Merchant of the Veil. Ooh, there we go. So, if I can get a couple more of these, I will. For the next time, be making a rat deck. I have a whole bunch of rats just sitting there waiting to be thrown into a deck. I have them set aside because I knew that one day I'd have a rat king. So that's good. Still no questing beast. Still no brazen borrower. Hell, I don't even have a great henge yet. Now that would be nice to see. A great henge. And my rare here, Linden, for the second time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know that they can't just give away the good cards in every pack. I get that, but I haven't gotten an Oko. I haven't gotten a, a Questing Beast, a, a Great Henge. Where are they at? Come on. I'd like the Bear Token. I wish I could get that in foil. That's a, Out of all the bear tokens, that's one of the better ones. Okay, I got the cauldron. That was my mythic. Uh, I did not get the great henge. I did not get an oko. I got the great cauldron. Or the cauldron of whatever. I'll just call it the cauldron of fuckery. Apparently, it looks like it. <laughs> I think that would be my last mythic for the box. I'm down to like three packs. Unfortunately, I did not get some of the stuff I was looking for. Interesting. So this is a foil. Alternate. I know that you guys are watching all the <laughs> the collector's packs being opened, but the fact that it's not from one of those is cool. And a normal non-foil for a champion. You know, for some of us who don't open the collector's packs, we're not going to see a whole lot of the uh, alternate framing in foil so it's nice to see I didn't think they were in these packs so I have a feeling that I won't ever see <laughs> a foil mythic that's in an alternate frame from these packs be nice but it's not gonna happen <coughs> which is vengeance interesting So yeah, I think that we're down to, yep, we're down to the last pack here, guys. And gals, and everything in between. And I still didn't get one. So, you know what that means? That means that we do another one later. Alright, a foil is a Spectre Shriek. Not bad, actually. And the last rare, Escape of the Wild, or Escape to the Wilds. Oh well. So we didn't get it this time. No Okos. No Questing Beasts. No Brazen Borrowers. Alright, let's go over what we got. Alright, so there's the foil. Foil alternate border. Cauldron. The Piper. My four rare was the, my and my first of two was Castle Embereth for rare. And, and like I showed you before, the the hollow stamp for the rares and mythics is a little off on these. Just a little. On well, a lot of them, actually. I'm looking at it now. There's a lot of them that are off. So, oh no, the robber, the rich is cool. Uh, it's probably the mo most expensive card in the box. So, not the greatest of boxes, but. Eh. And then the other four are rare. This was a bad one. I'm not a big fan of clone effects when it's not for a creature. But it is what it is. Uh, Fable Passages. I've got two of them now. Another foil. Magic Mirror. I will try to figure out how to jam that into it. Oh, wait. I f Hold on. This box had three foil rares. Three foil rares, guys. Three foil rares. Because this is a foil as well. 
So, that's not horrible. And a love struck beast alternate frame. Rare with the hollow foil stamp on the bottom a little off. So, actually, this box was better than I thought. I guess my memory's a little short. <laughs> Could have been worse. So, oh, and then a flax intruder. So, there you go, guys. That is Kraken Packs.